Rosaline is an intelligence-based support class hero from the Lightbearer faction who specializes in buffing her teammates. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at her skills and abilities, her teams and uses, and whether or not it's worth investing in this hero. So let's get into it. For her ultimate ability, Motivation, Rosaline will passively follow the ally that she is assigned to, which can be chosen in the pre-battle preparation. If she is not assigned to an ally or the ally she is following dies, she will then proceed to follow the ally who has the highest combat rating. Now using this ability as the ultimate, she will fill the ultimate gauge of the ally she is following. And the lower the energy that the ally has, the higher the energy cost will be for Rosaline with a minimum of 200 energy being expended by Rosaline, no matter how high the ally's energy is. Next up we have Crazy Crockery. For this this one, Rosaline is going to throw three teacups, a fork, and a saucer at the enemy who the ally she is following is targeting. Now, this is going to deal damage, leave them temporarily stunned but also deal bonus damage equal to 20% of the target's current health and also increase their damage taken by 40% for four seconds. For her next ability, Afternoon Tea, Rosaline is gonna heal the ally that she's following. Now, each successive heal that she does will increase the next heal by 25% up to a maximum of 150%. And then we have Spring Cleaning. For this one, Rosaline is gonna get out her broom and start sweeping around the ally that she is following. Now, if enemies come close to that ally, she will deal damage and also reduce their accuracy. And if the ally she is following is a back row ally, then she will actually knock back the enemies when they get close as well. For her signature item, Rosaline is going to increase the attack and defense of the ally that she is following by up to 30% of her own. And at level 30, it's going to have the added effect of increasing the ally's crit rating and dodge rating by 25% of Rosaline's own. And finally, we have her furniture ability, Flying Crockery. For this one, when the ally that Rosaline is following lands a normal attack, Rosaline will manifest teacups that will mimic the effects of her Crazy Crockery ability, and this can be used up to once every 2.5 seconds and for level 9 it can be triggered up to once every 0.75 seconds. There are two main teams that we're going to focus in on in this video for Rosaline, one being a Gwyneth team and the other being a Mahira team. The Gwyneth team that we'll look at will consist of Arthur, Estrilda, Numisu, Gwyneth and Rosaline. Now the reason Rosaline synergizes so well with Gwyneth comes down to Gwyneth's signature item. At base she gets an attack increase when there is an ally close to her. On top of that she will fire extra arrows in quick succession whenever herself or an ally in close proximity uses an ultimate ability and when Rosaline is following that Gw Gwyneth she is able to proc both of these abilities. Arthur is in the front row to be able to buff the Gwyneth behind him with his signature item increasing her frequency of normal attacks but also her crit rating allowing her to deal that damage which is necessary for the victory. Estrilda is in the team for two main reasons. Firstly her ability to knock back enemies in the front row and secondly her ability to buff the attack ratings of her allies. And then the final member of the team is Numisu. Now he is there for healing but also he has a really nice effect where he can buff the haste of the Gwyneth allowing her normal attacks to come off even faster and keep the enemies in a stun lock. For the Mahira team, Rosaline is a core piece along with Mahira herself and also Rowan. Between the three of these units with Rosaline following Mahira, they can almost endlessly keep the enemy team charmed. For the remaining two spots, there are many options. For this case, we're going to go ahead and use Laika, but also Raku. Now, Laika comes into it because this team really wants Mahira to ult as fast as possible, which is why we have Rowan with his energy potion, allowing her to drink that and get to the ult faster. Laika adds to that, giving her extra energy at the start of the battle. Now, Raku fits into this team because he's going to deal extra damage to enemies based on their max HP if they are under control effects and with Mahira in the team followed by Rosaline she's going to be using her charm a lot on the whole enemy team allowing Raku to effectively have a huge damage potential. 
Now for this team, Rosaline can sometimes even be used in the front row uh, to run away and then follow that Mihira. Otherwise, Laika can sometimes be used as well. Just depends on the situation. For artifacts, the two main options for Rosaline are going to be Jura's Blade to allow herself to stack extra attack as the battle goes on, allowing her to pass on that attack to her ally that she is following through her signature item. Then we also have Jura's Call, allowing her to cycle through energy faster and buff that ally faster. However, keep in mind, if you are using another hero in your team with Jura's Call, it does have diminishing effects. Now with all that out of the way, how far do you want to invest into Rosaline? For this one, keeping her on that wish list and getting her ascended is going to be really nice. This will increase her base stats, allowing her to transfer more of those stats to her ally with her signature item. Now for signature item, level 20 is a nice save point. You get all that attack and defense transferred. However, you do miss out on the crit and dodge of the level 30 signature item, but there are more important heroes to get to level 30 signature item before you start looking at Rosaline, and it's not completely game breaking. Crit and dodge are both RNG based, so you can retry battles to get those effects. As for her furniture, you can invest into it if you want. However, it's not really required due to the fact that the two main teams she synergizes with are very heavy on control abilities. You don't really need those cups to be stunning the enemies so frequently because normally they will be under control effects. So that is going to be it for Rosaline, a specialist in buffing her allies and really enabling another ally to carry your team. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Cheers.